Well, welcome everyone to GGN. Uh, my website is ggnonline.net. It's called Global Government News. If you're new to it, I'm sure most of you are probably normal listeners, but uh, if you are new, this is it. You can follow by email on YouTube, ddarko2012 and ddarko2013 are my YouTube channels. You can find the goal of GGN and also some more information as far as who I am, what I'm doing here. This will be a short video. It, it should actually be under 10 minutes, which would be, I think, a record for GGN. Upper Midwest struck by unusual autumn tornadoes and snowstorms. And last week's report, we pretty much covered what was going on with the big harp circle over three-fourths of the country, aiming right at the center of it. Um, all of the aerosol spraying, give you the aerosol um, uh, forecast. And, uh, yeah, and we got what we thought we were going to get, right? A bunch of rain, and there's actually tornadoes and snowstorms. The upper Midwest was recovering on Saturday from an unusual autumn wallop from a fierce snowstorm that trapped dozens of people in their vehicles in western Dakota. Also, swarms of tornadoes left at least 15 people injured in Nebraska and Iowa. And even in the Rocky Mountains, it got hit by a blizzard that dumped, uh, what, three feet of snow. As far as the uh, harp status, for today goes, they're still just, I guess at the harp station, they're just clicking, they have the button on and maybe they fell asleep, but either way, it's not at the high level of that purple that it was at or violet, uh, but it's still at moder moderate uh, uh, high levels. Uh, you could be able to you still feel it. This is here still a low, uh, low medium uh, for most of the country, so. And I could see yesterday when the there was like some clearing up from that rain, you can see where, uh, where the regular cumulus, cumulus clouds are moving kind of low, uh, but you could see all of the modified aerosols, the chemicals up there, uh, being rippled and being. Uh, they'd sit there, and then you could see them like they're like they're being directed or something uh, remotely. You see a move, and then they stop, and then they go in one direction, and they go the other direction. It's not, not like they're being moved by wind, you know, because of the ripples and that. And they're just their pattern. They're being moved by some dude in an office or something. As far so this is for Saturday. This is a uh, 10-5, and this is so it's not so much a forecast as it is. This is what it was, and this would be perfect because they were harping this part right here at pushing it off. You could just tell, right? That's that's what was going on. So this was Sunday, uh, pretty much the same thing. Then here's today right here. Uh, you have uh, all of this stuff, this big part of the East Coast, all the way up until uh, almost eastern Indiana, up to northern Canada, and that down to Florida, and that uh, actually moving off east out to the ocean. But you have this huge wall of chemicals heading, uh, uh, heading basically over uh, down from uh, what is this uh, uh, Tijuana and all that northern Mexico up into Canada. Uh, basically, a, a quarter of the country here in the west. So who knows what kind of magic they're going to uh, come up with as far as this week's goes. I'm looking forward to this. This is the weatherspace.com. I have an account so I can see it on weekends, but sometimes they won't make it available if you don't uh, sign on for an account. I think it's free, but you can donate to them. Um, they're going to have a day four coming soon and a day five, so I look forward to that. Um, someone mentioned about squash bugs, and then I saw this article. Uh, stink bugs are creeping and crawling across Indiana. And... Um, I noticed this uh, myself all throughout the Midwest, basically. But uh, they said here that um, what they think they came from was they were hopping on, or they were coming in from China. Uh, it makes sense that 50% of the stuff uh, that uh, we get, at least conservatively, 50% of the, the products that we get, <laughs> that we use, is what? It's from China. So we're going to get some of their stuff. But also what I found about these bugs um, were that they say that they're found throughout the world, but most species are found in the tropics and the subtropics. So it can go either way, right? 50% uh, uh, because they're changing the weather and 50% because they're just coming in uh, through the imports of, from China. But it's probably both. Uh, anyways, uh, that's all I have for you right now. Look at that, under five minutes, that is a record. So I'm going to have two more videos I'm going to bust out here tonight, uh, War on Terror, Liberty, Sovereignty, and uh, the government shut down uh, some stuff about, uh, you know, some conspiracy stuff that was going on in the Capitol. 
possible martial law. Like I said, it's already instituted um, through the police and the police state, the militarized police state. But uh, anyways, please join me in part uh, two and three. This is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you.